Hey y'all, welcome back to a new vlog in a new year. It's 2024. And I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I spent the holidays with my family. First, before I get into everything, if you're new here, hit subscribe if you're already part of the family. What's up, what's good, what's poppin'? I'm just so excited about a new year because I know I'm gonna do great things. Period, point blank, okay? All right, so um, got a couple errands to run today. My god sister Kali from New Orleans is here. Y'all probably gonna see her in a video after this because she's been helping me in some of my videos. Today I have a few errands to run because tomorrow I have a photo shoot and I'm super excited about it because it's with one of my favorite photographers in Atlanta. His name is Spencer Charles. Go look him up on Instagram. His work is great. We do a lot of boudoir um, photography. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. But we're doing it at this place called the Starling Hotel, which is in like Midtown, West Midtown, Atlanta. It's a beautiful hotel. It's brand new. And then also today I'm meeting some of my colleagues for the first time in person. I work remote. My company that I work for is 100% remote. So we never see each other outside of Zoom meetings. And one of the guys um, based in Atlanta messaged all the Atlanta based people and was like, hey, would y'all like to get up for dinner? Let's meet in person. So we're going to dinner tonight. So I'll take y'all along with me for that. And yeah, right now I'm just going to go run a couple errands. But I'm so excited to see you all again. Hey y'all, so today Stacy has on some boots with this dress. And we're going to Marshall's. So, you look so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good eye. Thank you. <laughs> Turning a dress. We were turning this dress. Yeah. You didn't like it or it was just the wrong size? Uh, I didn't like it. So I know some people don't like, they like the dress, but they just don't like how it fits on them. Exactly. It looked nice on the hanger, but it didn't uh -huh. look great on me. Today I wore this jacket with these pants with a black shirt with these. Jordans. Yeah. Yeah, that's her look of the day. I'm in Old Town Liberan to meet my colleagues for dinner i'm early i don't know what time everyone else is gonna get here but i'm gonna check out the menu i was hoping they had like a non-alcoholic wine or a non-alcoholic beer that would have been nice but it's real cute and quaint in here maybe i should show y'all cute little old town vibes in here thank you Hmm. i didn't look at the menu beforehand I just looked at reviews and the reviews said they were good. So I think I'm gonna just like figure out what I want to eat. So when they get here, I can just order because I'm starving, like for real. Vlogger. Oh, I'm gonna have to get some pants for me because I've been thinking about it. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. This is you doing your job. Yeah. And hello, hello, hello. I am running behind. It's a new day. I had such a great time last night meeting my colleagues for the first time. They were so cool. We all worked in different departments. One was a data scientist, one was a cybersecurity analyst, and then me, I'm the recruiter. And we just stayed in that restaurant for like three hours chit-chatting about everything under the sun. So they want to make it like a monthly thing. I don't know if I can do that, but I will try to, you know, link up with them as much as I can whenever I'm in town. But it was just such a cute vibe or whatever and now I am literally rushing to a photo shoot I'm at Starling in Midtown and I'm waiting for my photographer friend to come get me or whatever so it's cute this actually used to be the W this used to be the W. So if you're from Atlanta, you know this used to be the W. They renovated it and now it's called the Starling TikTok or something. With all the sweater dresses I bought because they're all so fucking cute. Every time I wear them, I get comfortable. Let me show you some more of the hotel until my friend called me because he ain't here yet. Let me show you. Oh. <laughs> Hey Spencer! 
And this is my friend Spencer Charles, the photographer. <laughs> Hi, Spencer. What's up? Nothing much. Nice. Thank you. This looks like, oh. oh, what a cute view. Okay, hold on now. Cute little view of the city. You can see Stone Mountain. That's Stone Mountain. So last thing I heard before they kicked me out of there. Well, let me see here now. Well, this must be it right there, see? The freaking bathroom lighting is so bad. So I'd rather do my makeup out here. The photo shoot is over. It was really good. I didn't film it because it's a boudoir shoot. So if you know boudoir, you know it's like partially nude as well as like sexy lingerie. And I ain't trying to put that kind of content out on YouTube, baby. I can't do that. I love shooting with Spencer to be quite honest. He's so amazing. Like his work is so good. I'm gonna link his page so y'all can see. And I'm in his coffee book that he released. It's called Blacker Than God. I bought it and I just feel honored. Like, I really do. So, yeah. Hey. Get him up. Oh, he tried to bite him just now. <laughs> he gonna, he gonna he, jump on me. He gonna jump on me. Get him up. <laughs> he did like get this. Hey, get him up right here. Come on, and he get him up. Like, <laughs> he threw the train. Get him up. He threw that dog on that train real quick. <laughs> on, Hello, mom. Hey. Ooh. Ooh, I ain't doing no more crap, boy. Ooh, it look good. It is good. What we got in here? Turkey necks, crab legs, shrimp, um, corn, sausage. Here it is, right? Crab claw. Oh, look at you. And then I have some mussels. Oh, you got mussels. Yeah, and they so good. And you okay, need to taste them. I'm going to try it. And some baked fish. Oh my, you in here throwing down. Okay. Yeah. Hey, this kitchen is seasoned with love, okay? All the time. Period. Here, listen. What you say? You want another one? Excuse me, you're not Somebody get this drunk, man. Mm. Your muscles is grown. Get it? Get it? You want some cup steaks? Funny. That's what I want. Potatoes. Meat. No. You just got it. Potato you Well, you gotta make some. I already cooked everything else. You should sell it back then. Walmart didn't have groceries. No, it didn't. You walked in Walmart. It was Walmart in electronics, and my girl be like, and we went to Kmart to take pictures. Kmart. That's right. That's why I took all they baby pictures. Yeah. I'm gonna get my house good. Oh. Mama, good. I made the really good. I do fly. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. I've been gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. Hello, happy Monday. Y'all. I'm back in Mexico City and I need to unpack. My suitcase is sitting there open, but I ain't touched nothing. And I'm so happy to be back in my own space, in my bed, around my beds in Mexico. I love this city. I, I love this city. I'm sitting here working and after I get done working, I have literally a laundry list of to-do things I got to get done, okay? See my suitcase right there? Yeah, I'm gonna get to both of those at some point. That's my notification that I have a meeting in like 10 minutes. Y'all, first of all, look at this painting. I did this freehand, freehand. I did this first time ever painting, I'm not lying. I'm so proud of myself. It's not finished because I ran out of paint. I need to finish this and then there. And yeah, I'm just really proud of myself. But 
The TikTok shop got my ass. I bought the big ass calendar. I really wanna plan out all my content, get organized this year. But anyways, let me get back to working. I pulled my like patio set in a little bit cause the sun was killing my butt. This year I want to become a reader. They say, or at least I heard through grapevine, something from black folks put it in a book and i'm not trying to be one of black folks okay i can commit to 10 minutes a day that's what i'm starting i'm starting life so the first book is going to be the 12 week year i love self-help books anything that can help me be a better person i'm gonna read it. so i'm gonna start with this one and i feel like this is a good start especially since i bought this big ass calendar these two together i can plan my 12 week year with my big ass calendar. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Chapter one, the challenge. And I like to read out loud because it helps me improve my reading. Cause sometimes I feel like my reading is like subpar. Like sometimes my brain be moving faster than like my, my mouth and I be having to like catch up. But anyways, let's go. How is it that some people seem to accomplish so much while the vast majority of people never accomplish what they are capable of? If you could fully tap into your potential, what might be different for you? How would your life change if each and every day you perform up to your full potential? Hello, hello, it's a new day. I totally forgot to stop to continue vlogging, but I'm on my way to my favorite co-working space because my Wi-Fi in my apartment is acting crazy. So I'm gonna show y'all my favorite co-working space. And I love it because it's beautiful and it's free to go. You just have to buy something like a food or drink beverage. There's no like spend minimum. So if you just wanna buy some $2 potato chips and sit there for five hours, you can't. I don't do that though. I usually get like a full meal just to show support or whatever. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm here at Open Hub, the cutest little co-working space. It's so cute, it's so cute. And I'm just gonna finish up some work on my work computer. Honestly, I should have finished this earlier, but I prioritize other things. Oops, my bad. <laughs> we gonna stop doing that this year, okay? We gonna get things done when they're supposed to be done. Period. Y'all, I got such a forgetful mind. I'll be vlogging and then I'll forget that I was supposed to vlog to like continue vlogging and then stop. So if it feels like it's skipping around, I do apologize. I just, I'm forgetful as hell. But I'm super excited about this year because 2023 was so good. So I'm like, if 2023 was good, it can only get better, right? If you've experienced good, you gotta experience better. So I feel like this year is gonna be better and I'm ready for it. I know that I gotta stay determined and do the work on my end and I am ready to do that. There are a few areas of my life I wanna level up in one, I want to become debt-free, and I know I can do it. I know I can do it. It's about staying focused and actually putting a plan together. And then two, I want to get healthier. Like, I want to consistently work out, and I want to eat. That sounds weird, right? I want to eat, but, like, I don't eat enough. And then... I want to take this content creation stuff way more seriously. Like, I'm growing on TikTok. If you don't, <coughs> oh my God. If you don't follow me on TikTok, go do it. Pivot Pixie on TikTok. And I want to continue posting and growing on there. Um, I'm now monetized like, on TikTok as well as YouTube. So I know that if I just fucking post, I can make money and get sponsorships and brand deals. So that's the goal, that's the goal. Girl, just get consistent. I read this quote that said, discipline is the highest form of self-love and I haven't been the same since. Like that really shook me. I was like, damn, I don't love myself? Damn, that's crazy. And so when you look at it like that, it makes you be like, damn, I'm not loyal to myself. That's crazy. Like I'm loyal to my job, but I'm not loyal to myself. Oh, something got to change. A shift got to take place ASAP, right now, today, this minute, this second. That's how I felt when I heard that quote. I'm just so grateful for 2023 because I did a lot. I traveled a lot. I learned a lot. 
I've matured a lot. I just feel like I'm the best I've been mentally, physically, no, not physically, but mentally and and financially since I've been in adulthood. Since I've been in adult, this is the best I've felt. So now I just want to build on the momentum. Like I want to have, I just want to have a beautiful life. And I know that I'm the author, so I can write it out and script it how I want it to be. And I'm also the main character. I'm not just the author, I'm the main character too. So realizing that and realizing that my success and my growth and my failures are all in my hands and nobody else's, like there's no one else to blame but me if shit don't work out. And taking accountability for that, I don't know. I just feel, I just feel like a real adult now. <laughs> And it feels good, damn. I feel like for most of the time I was in adulthood, I was just confused about it. Like, why am I here? What is my purpose? What am I doing? And now I know. And so with that, we're gonna we're gonna cap we're gonna build and capitalize and grow and show the world who I am. Okay. That's everything I wanted to say. If it's not, guess what? I'll put it in another vlog. All right. Y'all gonna notice some changes on my channel, whether it be visually, the content, just embrace it. And if you don't wanna embrace it, you can always leave. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just being real. Um, but for everybody that's gonna stick around and that's gonna keep on this journey with me, thank you. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.